Here I am at Republic Bank to speak to Frank about mortgages, mortgage rates, who can get a mortgage here and everything in between. Let's go. Here I am at Republic Bank with the head of mortgage business, Frank. I'm really grateful for his time today. So I want to find out all about mortgages in Ghana, the interest rates, how you can get them, what you need to qualify. So I'm excited for Frank to tell me that. Um, so if you could first let me know what people need to get a mortgage here, like what sort of income do they need to be making to actually get a mortgage? Thank you very much for coming and um, thank you for anybody listening to me. Uh, we are also happy to talk to you today. Republic Bank has been the primary or premium mortgage company in this company. We all know about formerly home finance company, which turned to HFC Bank and then um, became Republic Bank. So we, this company has been in business and our main business has been offering mortgages to Ghanaians to help them buy properties. So mortgage is our main core business here. We offer mortgages at uh, different types of products. Um, people who have completed properties can get loans from us to acquire those properties. We call it home pages. And then we also have those who have a, a completed property they live in and they want to take some money from it. We call it home equity. So you are able to take money from the existing property. You still live in it or you've rented it to someone and then we use it as a security to raise money for you to go into business or buy another property. Then there are a number of people who start property. It takes about 10, 5 to 10 years for most people to complete their properties. And the locked, capital locked in there is so much. Mm -hmm. You locked in your money for five years, you're not getting any returns. What we are saying is we will help you complete that property so that you either leaven to stop paying rent as a result of you having that property or you rent it out to make money. So we have home completion where we offer p p uh, clients opportunity to complete their own properties that they have started for either residential purposes or for investment purposes. And then we have home improvement. There are a number of customers who may have houses in prime locations, and it happens that um, the property is dilapidated, it's run down. We are able to help you renovate the property and rent it out or occupy it so that you gain the value of the property and you can even use the rental income from that property to service the mortgage. Mm -hmm. So these are many more products that we have. We even though with, um, we have a product that individuals who want to acquire service plots from repeatable companies and government lands, we are able to offer you mortgage to do that. And we have another product that is coming up where after you have acquired the service plot and you have made significant reduction in your um, principal payment, we are able to offer you additional money for you to build your dream house. Okay. And then you occupy it. So we are one-stop shop as mm -hmm. far as mortgage business is concerned. Okay. You know, so we will encourage as many people. But one other third product we have um, here that's very interesting is we are in collaboration with the government of Ghana to provide affordable mortgages to all public and civil servants in this country. And the interest rate is about 11.9%, very low. So all government, if you're working for the government of Ghana and you are a public or civil servant, you have an opportunity to buy a property and for yourself. And we have also commissioned about five real estate developers who are into this, this uh, well, development. And, you know, you know. So, so we have various products. And you ask me about the interest rate. Mm -hmm. um, we offer mortgages to resident Ghanaians, non-resident Ghanaians, and foreigners who have Ghanaian partners or foreigners who are working in Ghana for a reasonable period and have permits to work. We offer it to everybody. 
we are coming about the, uh, we are looking at how we will be able to attract the non-Ghanaians and non who are non-resident. Like I'm talking of those in the diaspora. We're looking at also attracting them. Interest rate on the dollar is 11.5 percent. That is so far the lowest in the market in Ghana. The, I mentioned that the government, the civil servants and the public servants interest rate is also 11.9 percent per annum on the mortgage. The CD conventional mortgage now is 24 percent. That looks a bit high, but it is so far also the lowest in the market because of the volatility of the currency. Mm -hmm. The CD is not very stable and cost of funds there is a bit high. You know, but for anybody who, for example, we have, if we have an institution that can say that we have 10 staff or we have 20 to take a mortgage from Republic Bank, we are able to craft a product for you and see how with your own money invested in the bank or deposited in the bank, we'll be able to use interest comparison and um, interest to offset the interest rate that we're going to give to your staff. And we have such with a number of institutions where we are able to give them a single digit um, interest rate. Wow. That's yes. Really good. We're able to give them a single digit interest rate. So what happens is the institution will have um, their money deposited here, will be managing it, will have interest on it, and part of that interest is used to service the mortgage the okay. interest rate that we are giving you. Okay. And it's a very good um, um, trail-off, collaboration. collaboration that we can, mm -hmm. we, we can use. Um, and if somebody wanted to buy a property to rent it out, do you give mortgages for that as well? And can you use the rental income or what will be as leverage to get that mortgage? Sure. We, we, other, other companies will use a higher rate for that, but we okay. don't. Right. We keep the same 11.5% rate for even if you were going to rent the property for, um, you're going to buy the property for rental purpose. What we will be happy with is that the rental payment is directed towards servicing your mortgage. Okay, so for example, you buy a property and you are getting, let's say, $500 a month rent and your repayment is $450 or $500, you direct the repayment, um, the rent, to another real repayment. Mm. So that, um, but the assessment of the individual will be based on the individual's income okay. that he makes. So that your income and your age. So we, for example, if you are, 40 years, you have 20 long years to honor your repayments or to pay for the mortgage. Okay. And if you are 50, you will have 10 years because we assume that at age 60, you begin a retirement. Mm -hmm. So the age and the income are the main two parameters that are used to determine how much loan one should be given. All right. So for the people that qualify, for me, I'm living in the UK, I am Ghanaian, I've got a Ghanaian passport, can I qualify? And who else can qualify that's in the diaspora? Everybody who is a Ghanaian okay. and works and makes money qualifies. Whether you are in Ghana or you live abroad. Okay. okay. So far as you work and you make money, you can take mortgage from Republic Bank to buy a property in Ghana. Um, if you are a foreigner and you are married to a Ghanaian, you can also take a mortgage from Republic Bank to buy a property in Ghana. If you are a foreigner and you are working in Ghana and you have a reasonable time, let's say five years or more, and you have a working permit, you can also assess mortgage from Republic Bank. If you are a foreigner and you have a Ghanaian son or baby or a girl, you can also take a mortgage. So you must have some tie with, to Ghana, to Ghana okay, and then exactly. you can assess it. Great. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, what is the deposit normally that you ask for? Okay, the equity contribution is supposed to be 20% and the mortgage value is supposed to be 80%. But what happens is if your income does not qualify you for the 80%, we will still give you the percentage your income qualifies you for. Let's say your income qualifies you for 70%. Yes, we will give you the 70%. But what that means is that your deposit must be 30% mm. to meet the full payment for the property. So in absolute terms, if you're buying a property that is $100,000, your deposit is supposed to be 20000 But if your income only qualifies you for 70000 then your, in, your deposit will be 30,000 instead of 20. Okay. okay, so we meet you the way to get full payment for the property and then you can move into. We, our main concern is that we must finance you to a completed property so that you stop paying your rent and use the repayment, uh, your rent payment to honor your repayments. One question that people might have is that um, the interest rates in Ghana are considerably higher than other countries yeah. like the UK, US. Why is that? It's the, it's the cost of funds. Um, it's easy to get it, many factors, actually. It's, it's expensive to get money in CDs. Okay, so... For example, fixed deposit, people want um, 17%, 18%, and that's very high. Mm -hmm. So if I have to take your money at 18 or 20% and I have to lend it to somebody to take a mortgage, it definitely has to be more than how much mm -hmm. I took it from you, considering risk and many other factors. Mm -hmm. the, secondly, the CD is volatile. The CD is not stable like the way the dollar is or the pound is stable. It keeps depreciating in value, going up and down. So the risk associated with that currency is a bit high. The dollar, as I mentioned, is stable and you're able to get dollar at a reasonably lower um, price. So then the bank is able to offer. And even though compared our rates, of 11.5 to what prevails in UK and in US, you realize that ours is slightly higher, you know. But in Ghana market, it is the lowest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just the way that it is here. Yeah. Um, and then I guess one last thing about that as well is whether you decide to take it in, in dollars or in CDs. Yeah, yeah. So why is there those two options? Um, what, we have init uh, what we have actually done is that we have pegged CDNS to earn or take mortgages in CDs and dollar earners to take mortgages in dollars. The reason is if you allow a CD earner to take mortgages in dollars, the person becomes worse off because as the CD depreciates, the cost of funds and the, um, the loan amount increases astronomically. And the person, it's get to a point the person may not be able to pay. But if the person earns in CDs and you give them dollar, uh, CD mortgages, the person will be better off because the only cost in there will be the interest rate. So dollar earners are given dollar mortgages and they are not affected by the CD depreciation. Many a time, People have assumed that it's expensive and to take mortgage because of interest rates. And other people have also thought that if I took mortgage, possibly my property will be foreclosed. What I would like to encourage everybody is this. Mortgage is the first thing you need to consider when you start working because is a way to create wealth for yourself. Mm -hmm. Assuming you bought a property in Ghana 
that costs, say, $50,000 now. In five, ten years' time, by the time you would have close to paying off the mortgage, the value of the property would have more than tripled. At that time, all the value in the property is savings and wealth you have created for yourself and your family. Yeah. You can decide to take some equity out of that, or you may decide to even dispose of the property and use the money to start business. There are those who started this way and have successfully acquired two, three, four properties and are now depending on those properties during their retirement age. So I would like to encourage as many that are hearing us to take advantage of acquiring their own um, property through mortgage because it's also difficult to raise huge capital to go into outright purchase because incomes are small and savings are not forthcoming because most of the money we earn are spent in consumption. Mm -hmm. So the only alternative you may have for now is to take a mortgage, acquire your property and pay it bit and pieces over a very long period of time. Where you have your property, you enjoy it, but you do not feel that you have actually spent money in buying the property. Mm. I think actually what you're saying is a really good point, that the property market in Ghana is really it's on the increase, yeah, especially sorry. in Accra. And, and so even, you know, if you look back a couple of years at prices to even now, yeah, as you say, it doubled. Yeah, more than that. Yeah, so. More than that. Because you have approximately about 10% increase or uh, uh, value appreciation in in properties in Accra. Oh, wow. That's yeah, really good. about 10 percent, you know, so you can understand how it works. Mm. Great, thanks very much. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also if you're interested in a mortgage with Republic Bank, I will put a link in the description below for Cecil Global who you can contact for that.